The BSI kite mark can trace its origins back to 1903. The forerunner of today's much respected and widely recognised kite mark was an ordinary trademark for tramway rails. In itself, this does not sound particularly momentous. However, standardisation of tramway rails helped to reduce the number of rail sizes from 75 to only 5 and in the process was estimated to have saved the industry the huge sum of £1 million. Today it is hard to imagine a world without agreed standards and specifications for performance, but without the British Standards Institution and the BSI kite mark, much of what we take for granted today would not have been possible. For 100 years, the BSI kite mark has been a uniquely powerful symbol of trustworthiness, recognised by engineers, industrial buyers and consumers in the UK and around the world. The kite mark has become synonymous with quality and become interlinked with the economic successes of the last 100 years. The origins of BSI can be traced back to 1901. Central to the development of standards in the UK and subsequently BSI and the kite mark was one Sir John Wolfe Barry. Sir John was convinced of the need for standards in iron and steel production and in 1901 set up a standardisation committee at the British Iron and Steel Association with the aim of agreeing standards for iron and steel sections. The first British standard for steel sections was published in 1903 and remained virtually unaltered for 20 years. Having established the need for standardisation at the turn of the century, progress was steady up to the First World War. The war provided a major stimulus to the standards movement, and by 1920 there were 300 committees engaged in standardisation work, as compared with only about 60 before the war. The Second World War also saw a rapid growth in standardisation activity, and the publication of a range of emergency standards. 